All right, so in this video, we will talk about the cron jobs. So if you want to automate your task and save tons of time, this video is for you. So let's start with the very basic, what is a cron job? So cron job is a scheduled task that allows you to run a script or commands at a specified interval. And in this way, it can help us to automate the repetitive task, ensuring they run at scheduled time without the manual intervention. So we don't need to sit in front of the server or the machine and performing some action or running a script manually. Here are some examples also of the tasks which you can automate using the cron jobs like backing up files. Suppose you want to take the backup of the files or the, some data every weekend, right? You can simply use the cron jobs. Running system maintenance, sending emails report, or let's say you, ha you have deployed an application on the server, you want to restart on every weekend or every month, you can simply and very easily do it using the cron job. Now let's see how does cron work. So cron uses a daemon, a background process, which run of course continuously all the time, called cron to execute scheduled tasks right so it keeps checking okay if there is any task uh, scheduled for the given time if yes then it will execute your task very simple so the configuration for these tasks like where you will uh, schedule or add these tasks right so these are configured in a file which is also called as a cron tab file okay we will see in, uh, with an example so this is my virtual environment and i am using the centos operating system using the virtual machine okay and I can simply show you system CTL status and cron D, cron D service, see active and running. So this is the service which is responsible for executing our task. Okay, so now let's see how we can manage these cron tab entries, including how we can schedule our own task, how we can see the existing scheduled jobs or how we can remove the scheduled jobs like overall management. Let's see with the example. So we are going to use the cron tab command command to edit the cron tab means if you want to change or if you want to add a new task or new job schedule job so you can use the cron tab hyphen e if you just want to check the existing one like the view your current cron jobs you can simply use cron tab hyphen l means listing and if you want to delete you can simply use the cron tab hyphen r and also there is an additional warning if you use a cron tab hyphen r it will remove all the jobs so first of all i will simply use cron tab hyphen l to see the existing cron entries so you can see no cron tab for paul paul means okay this is the current user logged in now let's see how we can add our new job in this cron tab file so we can simply use cron tab hyphen e hyphen e means editing so we are trying to editing the cron tab file and adding our job very simple okay as soon as I hit enter, you will see some text editor like this where you can edit your file. So in order to start editing, press I. Okay, so you will also see the insert mode. So in this insert mode, you can start typing and add some content in this file. Although there must be some format for scheduling our job in this file, right? So yes, there is a format. So here you can see the basic format of the cron job. So each line or each job in that file will follow this particular pattern consist of five asterisk or five star at the beginning of each line and after then your command or uh, the path of your script you want to run at a specific time so i can simplify these five asterisk for you with the help of this example okay so here the first asterisk represent uh, minutes and you can provide the value from 0 to 59 very simple second asterisk represent r and you can provide 0 to 23 and it follows the 24 hour format third asterisk day of the month and uh, you can provide 1 to 31 now uh, as you provided the date in which month you want to execute a specific month yes of course you can provide using the fourth asterisk month 1 to 12 and the last asterisk day of the week like if you want to run specifically on sunday like every sunday night and although it must be hard to remember these format, right? But I can show you an easy way. So you can simply search for some online tools which can help you to decode that format like the cron tab guru. So if you go uh, on this site, okay, so it will looks like this. 
सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वेरी बेसिक दैट इज द फाइव एस्ट्रिस्क विच मीन्स एट एवरी मिनट सो वॉट एवर द कमांड और द स्क्रिप्ट यू विल प्रोवाइड इट विल एग्जीक्यूट एवरी मिनट ना यू कैन सिंपली प्रोवाइड द टाइमिंग ऑल्सो लेट लेट से ट्वेल्व सो एट एवरी मिनट पास्ट आर ट्वेल्व ओके लेट से यू कैन प्रोवाइड द स्पेसिफिक टाइम लाइक ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन सो एट ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एवरी डे नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड अ स्पेसिफिक डे सो यू कैन सिंपली प्रोवाइड लाइक ट्वेंटी लेट से ट्वेंटी सो ऑन ट्वेंटी ऑफ एवरी मंथ एट ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन इट विल एक्सिक्यूट यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द मंथ लेट से ट्वेंटी ऑफ फैब ऑनली सो यू कैन सिंपली प्रोवाइड टू ओके सो ट्वेंटी फैब एट ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन only and it will be of course repeat repeat every year if you want to execute on every sunday you can simply use zero so on every sunday at 1215 it will execute so it's very simple to you know decode and understand these code using this uh, online editor now using these uh, online tools you can simply uh, find out the exact pattern you need to use for your job let's say you want to use this exact thing so you can simply copy and paste it so here you go now after this you can provide uh, the the path of your script let's say uh temp okay uh basic basic.sh let's say you have a script named basic.sh in the temp folder so you can provide like this so this is your first job in order to uh save this file you need to press escape key escape so you will come out of the insert mode simply press shift colon and wq wq means save and exit you can also see a message like cron tab installing the new cron tab okay so now you can see you are first cron job in this file okay so this is not enough actually because uh, i want to show you a practical example so i have already prepared a script a basic simple script like create file.sh so what it does let me show the content of this file also let's create file.sh so very simple script it will check okay under this folder only script that if our output.txt file is present or not if not then create this file and after then it will add a text a sample text executed at and the current time date and time so now currently you can see there is no output.txt file right now and in order to show you exactly if it is working or not i will simply do cron tab hyphen e okay for every minute you already know star 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 very simple now where is your uh, script located so uh, i can provide uh, home paul script create file dot sh i am just uh, saving it right now wq create file dot sh let me just uh, okay create underscore file dot sh uh, and i can also check using the cron tab hyphen l okay so yes it's here and ls okay so right now only there is only one file okay so i'm not doing anything and after one minute it will create a file and also add or uh, append the line with the current date and time so right now is 1030 1036 so let's uh, wait till uh, 1037 let's say okay it's already 37 and let's see now using the ls ls here you go this is the magic and of using the cron job see output.txt has been created okay if i do cat output.txt so you can see the timing the executed at this 103701 okay it's already 38 now okay and let's try to read that file the cat output.txt now you can see the second line has been added that means our cron job is working successfully so in every minute it will keep adding uh, you know this line okay so there must be some question around it like what if i close this terminal so will it work or not yes of course it will work even if your uh, the terminal is closed but the condition is the server must be up and running that's it Other, otherwise it will not run okay so for the cron job to be executed the server must be up and running okay so the cron jobs we are adding these are user specific for example cron tab hyphen l right we can see these jobs right if i switch the user and uh, change to root 
root okay so i am currently logged in as a root user now if i do cron tab hyphen l so you will see for the root user the jobs are different and for the poll user the jobs are different so these jobs are user specific okay i have also listed down few examples for you which may be helpful in few cases like if you want to execute uh, your task in every 15 minute right so you have to use like this asterisk forward slash 15 okay for the 15 minutes and uh, like if you want to execute your task in the range of time let's say monday to friday only okay so you can use one hyphen five monday to friday like this additionally you can also uh, provide more readable format like this okay monday to friday additionally if you have for example if you want to provide a date let's say you have the three dates in a month like 10 20 30 okay so you can also provide by using the comma separated okay so 10 20 30 of every month this should be executed and there are also some uh, special strings in cron jobs you can uh, easy easily use for example you you are not caring about a specific time you just want your task to execute it upon reboot of the system so you can use at the rate reboot and at the rate daily at the rate hourly etc for easy scheduling like example here at the rate reboot and the path of your script very simple so it will always run upon rebooting or the you know the restart of your uh, server now let's quickly talk about how we can remove any job okay let's say uh, there are two jobs right now okay scheduled jobs if i want to remove one how i can do it okay if i uh, use hyphen r it will remove all the entries so use it carefully okay so don't use hyphen r if you don't want to remove everything so in that case you have to use hyphen e to edit it or you can simply uh, delete this line or you can just simply use uh, comment like this so it will just comment out and it will not be considered to run or execute okay and uh, so yeah very simple and uh, let's save it so it will installing the new cron tab if i now use hyphen l so you will only see one job i can quickly show you the usage of this special string also for example if you want to execute any command on reboot or let's say daily let's let's use the daily now at the rate daily very simple and you can provide uh, your script or your command like basic dot sh okay so i want to add one more thing here which is redirecting the output of the task let's say your script is generating any logs or some output or some text you can redirect into a file very simple so for that what you can do simply uh, you can provide some uh, command here like let's say ls command okay and you can redirecting the result of that command into a file if you don't want to use the script you can simply use uh, bin ls command very simple okay and uh, you can redirecting the uh, you can redirect this output to a file let's say temp and uh, ls output dot text very simple every day this command will be executed and all the result of this command will be written to this file okay you can append this also if you want like this and simply close it okay so installing new cron tab and you can uh, also check it using the l so here is our new job using the special character now let's talk about setting the environment variables in your cron job and yes you do have the option to set it specifically in your cron tab file because there may be some instances that your script is relying on some environment variable to work on right so in that in that cases see in the normal cases when your uh, job is executing it will be running in a minimal environment or the shell environment so maybe some environment variables by defaults are not available to your script so in that case you can define your uh, path which is required by your script uh, in your jobs like this so this is the cron tab file you can also see so i i have provided the environment variables on the top path equal to this and after then i have provided the 
cron type job like this and in the end of the video let's see where you can find the logs related to the cron so you can find it under the var log folder and there is a file named cron i can also show you let's first close it so you will need sudo access to read this file so i will simply use sudo less var log cron okay so i can read it and in this log file i can see all the activities related to my, my cron jobs so yeah it will help you to troubleshoot and see uh, the related instances of the cron job